everybody. So for today's card, I'm actually going to be doing three cards, um, kind of like a mini mass production, using the CC Designs Lucky Rainbow Meeples stamp set. Um, I couldn't make up my mind which one to use, so I just decided I'd use all three of the images and make three little cards. So I stamped them onto CC Designs Quality White cardstock with Memento ink, as always and then coloring them in with my Copic markers. And I'm only showing the this one image coloring because the other two is pretty much exactly the same. Like I went even with the same hair color in all of them just to keep things simple because yeah, when you're blending and shading with Copics and you're doing like mass production, keeping things as simple as possible just kind of helps because otherwise you end up with well your entire marker collection spread out in front of you. <laughs> so did the skin as always, the hair as always, her little dress I went with green obviously since I'm still on my little St. Patrick's Day theme. And then once I got that all done I went on to the rainbow. So for every um, stripe I just used two different coordinating colors. So I started with the red, did the um, R27, R29, the orange, YR04, YR07 and just added a little bit and then quickly blended them uh, together. And then the yellow, I did the Y08 and Y15, but really I didn't even have to do that. Like they just kind of doesn't even really show up. So yeah, um, the green, G05, G07, blended that together. And then the ones that I ended up actually needing the most blending were the blues, the B16 and B18. Um, they're still, even though they're so close together, there's a fair bit of contrast between the two. So that just took a little bit more blending, but still super simple. So once I did that, I took my BG000 and outlined the cloud a little bit and added the teeniest bit to her mouth. With these ones, you can either color the mouth pink or just, like, I just see it as teeth. So added a little bit of that to make it look more white. And then, yeah, the other two images, I used um, the same markers. And then trimmed them all out. And then for the white cardstock, I trimmed it out and then I used my My Favorite Things um, Notebook Edge die. And then I decided, I was like, it would look really cute to actually make it look like a notebook. So I still have this old Cornish Heritage Farms, um, like, notebook paper stamp. Like, this is years old. Um, you could just use a ruler and a light blue marker to get the exact same effect. But I had the stamp sitting here, so I thought I'd use it. And, yeah, it's been retired, but I don't know if any other companies... I'm sure there's some other companies out there that make something similar, but that's what I used. It was just quick and simple with a little bit of light blue ink. And then I grabbed a couple different twines. I grabbed my doodlebug twine and some twinery twine just in two different shades of green and then wrapped it around the white paper and tied it in a bow. And it always helps to really pinch the knot when you're pulling on it to adjust the bow so that the whole thing doesn't come undone. And then two other contrasting colors of green cardstock to mat them. And when I do sets of cards like this, I do everything in stages. Like I color all the images first, cut them all out for again, um, do all the white cardstock at once, etc., etc. It just makes things go a lot faster. So then I use some tape to go over the twine so that my ATG adhesive would glide over that without getting caught on it. And then yeah, adhered. The white to the green and then the green to the lighter green mat. Everything was cut out ahead of time and then yeah do one at a time all back to back. It just makes things go a lot faster when you're mass producing. And then for the sentiments I used my lucky sentiment stamp set and chose three different sentiments from the set so that each card would have something a little different. And then just inked it up with VersaFine Onyx Black ink and then just eyeballed these ones. Um, I made the sunshine one a little more straight just because the main image there is so big and you can't really put it anywhere else. But then the other two I just purposely put on an angle. So just like so. So once I've got um, the sentiments down I decided to adhere all of the main images with dimensionals. So added a ton of dimensionals to those and again did all those at once. Once I got them all down, I just used the back or my detail cutting scissors to peel off um, the red line backing and then popped all those right onto the card. And then, of course, since I'm doing St. Patrick's Day, I grabbed my Lucky Charms dies and die cut some green cardstock and then just pressed that down and adhered that to the card, just using the centers so and then the edges of the leaves and the stem pop up. I thought that'd be kind of cute. So got those down. And then, of course, I wanted to add a little bit more bling, so I just grabbed my Doodlebug um, jewels again, since they're sitting out of my desk from one of the other cards I'd made. 
So added just a few random ones of those and a larger one to the center of each little shamrock. And then that kind of finished off the fronts. So then I'm going to adhere those to my card bases. And for these ones, I'm doing all four and a quarter inch square cards. So they'll fit in a standard A2 sized envelope. So got those done. Once I've got all the fronts done, I went on to the inside and I did the exact same thing as I did on the outside. I die cut a piece of white cardstock and then stamped it with the lined paper stamp. And then I used my CC Designs uh, banner tags dies, the small, well, second smallest of the tags, and die cut three pieces of green cardstock and then a tiny bit of adhesive on each and then just lined them up right on my craft mat and then stamped the sentiment I want to use using my stamp positioner so I can line it up onto there. And it just goes way faster to do just all three at once like this. So just kept repositioning the stamp positioner over each die, inking up the stamp, stamping it onto the little tag. That's all there was to it. So really simple. When you work in stages like this, you can make like even fancy little heavy detail oriented cards like mass production and still give them each their own little unique twist if you want. It's kind of fun. I don't do this often enough, but I enjoy it when I do do it. <laughs> so then I matted the white piece cardstock with the lighter green that I'd used on the front and adhered the little tag with the sentiment. And then I took the smaller of the two shamrocks that had already been die cut and adhered that and that was it for the inside. So just keeping them simple. So once I got all three assembled, I'm going to adhere all of those to the inside of each of the cards. And that's pretty much all there was to it. And of course, this time around, I decided to add a little bit more bling. People have actually been commenting, asking what's going on. Like, I haven't been adding near enough is what I normally do. <laughs> so yeah, I grabbed some crystal stickles and dabbed that onto all the little images just for a bit of additional shimmer and then lightly dabbed it onto each of the shamrocks and that's all there was to it. So there'll be a link below to my blog with all the supplies used. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!